Hi YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, saw this thing and were a little bit curious. So I decided to order it, I think it probably over a month ago. So it's the uh, Rolaro AK917RC and it's the Roller. And to be totally honest, I think I ordered the red one. But I'm not exactly sure, it's been that long. But not really interested in doing the uh, competition thing that's kicking around with it. But I thought I'd get one because I was just curious. See what the quality of it's like. And uh, I've got a few different motors and things to chuck in it and try it. But uh, more of a curiosity thing for me than anything else. So let's bring in for a close up look. We'll rip the box open and see what we get. So first impressions of it, get it out the uh, shipping cardboard. You got a little picture of it up front. We got a tick to say it's the red carbon fiber one, which is what I ordered. Uh, it shows you the other versions that are available. Comes with a little carry handle. That's interesting. But let's flick it round to the back. So we can see it's the roller, a uh, few warnings and a bit more bump. Not really anything, any interest anywhere. So, let's get it open. And I thought I'd uh, leave this one sealed, open it live, or live on the video, just so you can see what the experience is and how it arrives. So, this was one of pre order ones, and we get the uh, little carbon wings, they look funky whole load of screws to mount them. So we have the Rolaro name, we got little cutouts on them and they are carbon fibre. So you get two, one for each side. Then we get quite thin but very useful sort of protection for the bottom of the chassis. I usually use the much thicker stuff on my bashers but probably want to keep weight down on this. We got two little foam pads, sticky pads, I'm not sure if they're to hold the batteries. What do we get in here? So let's quickly open this. I have to watch what I'm doing with that knife because it got me last time I was working with it. So we get a velcro strap. We get what looks like plastic hex drives, a whole bunch of little Velcro tabs, looks like a couple of spur gears maybe. We get diff gaskets, so we get three different uh, spur gears and it looks like one pinion, not sure if it shows you anywhere on it the size, I can't see anything written on it. We get a little tool kit and some more sticky pads. So you get three hex drives, a little spanner type socket up there. And then we get what looks like another pinion gear, servo man and possibly the drive for it. You get a nice metal aluminium servo on and a whole load of screws. And a little tiny aluminium bit, not sure what that's for. Get some quite nice stickers. And you get, looks like the uh, information for optional parts. Gives you a rough idea of what motor this sort of envisioned you're going with on this. So it looks like. Uh, 3S 4600 KV, 4S 3700 3750, and they're 3.175mm shafts on the first two, the third one 5mm shaft, and then for 6S 2460 KV motor, 5mm shaft. 4S 2830 KV motor, again 5mm, 
and another 6S 2200 kV motor. So quite a lot of choice of different motors to run. Uh, pinions 30, 34, 37, 40, 45 and 52, 48 dp, so 48 pitch, um, or 0 0.53 mod. Advisors running steel, and then I think this is a bunch of their electronics that you can choose to run with. So various different can sized motors, and then optional carbon fiber parts. Um, aluminium parts for the suspension, split centre drive shaft, and then a few wheels, some brake rotors, and then a few of the other cars they sell. So, we have an instruction manual. Let's quickly have a flick through here, see if it shows us anything uh, interesting. Shows the wiring diagram of their ESC I believe. Kind of looks like a Dumbo. Dumbo RC. Not sure. I always prefer running my own electronics if I can. Shows its suggested layout. And then we've just got an exploded view. Which could be quite useful. And then all the uh, spare parts lists. And then the modded parts by the looks of it. So, let's get on to the uh, main thing. So, it does look like it's fastened down pretty good. So we should stand a fair chance of it being delivered in one piece. And if you are cutting these, just be careful because we seem to have a uh, thin wire sticking out bottom. Uh, it gives us a first look of the underneath. So uh, first, start, first impressions, it does look quite impressive. There's no slot in any arms or anything. Nice wide carbon fibre chassis. And we get us first look of the... Uh, Weird suspension design where you can actually crimp these up to make sure they're tight and there's no slop in them. And it looks like it's fitted with the anti roll bar front and rear. The bumper size is uh, actually correct as well, which a lot of RCs don't seem to get right. But let's take this covering off. Looks like we've been quite successful in the RC getting to us in one piece. It is quite a nice looking body, I must admit. But, I was interested to see what you actually get with the roller version. And I'm quite impressed with, with these, because if it flips, your body clips are going to go flying. And I wasn't really sure what to expect, as in what you were going to get, because I know the non-roller version comes with lights and the fan. I weren't sure if they were going to include that on the roller, but it looks like they have. So you've got a normal receiver type plug on both of them that should just go on to positive and negative. And then it also looks like get rid of these uh, zip ties so it looks like we've got a whole bunch of wiring coming from rear as well so if you do have a light controller you can wire all these up independent so it looks like we'd have one foot turbo flash one possibly foot brake lights and then one for each indicator so yeah the uh, the roller does come with the turbo lights and the brake lights and indicator. Not entirely sure if everybody's going to run these. Because you do have this great big heat shrink thing coming down the middle of it. But you can always tack it out if you don't want the lights in. You have just got two screws that are done up there. 
and then cut the cable ties so you could remove it quite easily so steering wise we do have a servo saver so let's have a look see yeah it is tight but that is enough to uh, take some shock out the actual suspension does seem a little high on the front looks like we get an extra cable tie um, genuinely doesn't feel too bad suspension wise just seems a little high for my liking on the front but it also doesn't look like you could really do much about that with the stock settings doesn't feel like there's a lot of affair oil in it front diff feels feels quite nice what's the rear yeah the rear doesn't feel bad either as I say you've got your sway bars the suspension you can adjust it to change the angle which would be camber and you've got links to adjust the toe so that's nice same on the back looks like you've got fully adjustable camber and it doesn't look like there's any toe set as standard so it is fully bearing by the looks of it we've got a nice support for the center drive shaft and a bearing so no center diff or anything in it does look like it comes fitted with a spur gear on it I'm not entirely sure what these are for though I have to go through instructions kind of look like spurs and they look like hexes but let's drop one at wheels off and see if we have in fact got plastic hexes on here so they are the serrated type wheel nuts so they are aluminium hexes with the rotors but to get that aluminium hex off you're gonna to have to replace or you're gonna to have to remove the rotor sort of your your brake caliper if you like but you can't actually get to the screws without taking all the arm off so if you do have to strip this down although these look pretty cool they're gonna be a bit of a sort of headache it does have the drive shaft size on them as well you got proper universal joint drive shafts they're 54 mil on front and it looks like the back are 65 steering does feel nice and positive and these are real aluminium wheels the tires are extremely solid so should be good unless you're going for some insane speeds but generally, looking around it, the build quality seems pretty good. Um, I think I got this one for less than 200 on pre-sale. Which, looking at it, the sort of fit and finish, I'd say is a cracking price. It does come with the metal motor mount on the roller. It looks like you've got an aluminium Ackerman plate for the steering. The suspension looks like it could be adjustable with pills. But you don't get any others with the kit or anything. So, let's quickly see what a task it would be to actually put a motor in it. It looks like you'd have to remove this to get that off to see your motor mesh so so we'll just get them out no. now you're definitely gonna have to take them all out but at least it's only four screws and they're the ones that go into plastic if you are needing to remove this top cover then it's only the four screws that comes off I 
and that is longer than the one from that side but do we need this one as well yeah it looks like they're it so we definitely just need the two outer screws so it's definitely that one and that one they're the two longer they come through into here but is there anything else that's holding it in so that gets us a look at us actual spur which is metal so although you've got the plastic hexes and the plastic spur gears it does actually come with a metal spur gear so what size are the pinions looks like we get two pinions and it looks like we've got one that is a 3.175 mil and one that's a 5 mil shaft that's what it looks like obviously 5 mil shafts for the bigger style motors so it's a bigger actual gear but yeah that's how we get down to this little bit that's quite a strange little thing So just be careful with that when you take the motor cover off. Looks like it's just popped on to uh, keep everything in place. Quite an interesting little RC. Now I've got these little um, Sumpadow lipos. So they'd fit in it nice and easy. Looks like you can change it for width. But definitely going to be an interesting little RC to run the uh, foam will let you position the battery or you can go for one of the longer shorty packs see if we've got one of them to uh, to hand just to see if you can actually fit a 2s pack in it but while we're looking at this definitely one tenth they I would say that they thinking you're going to go 2s on this because that's a 2s shorty pack and i don't think you're going to fit much anything any higher without going for the velcro strap you get two velcro straps but these are going to be pretty close to the floor so there's definitely going to be a danger of them snagging but they'll definitely go high enough to fit bigger batteries in it. Let's see what other batteries we have kicking about to try. So, these are your normal style race packs. So the GTFDRs fit, the 2SZ packs fit, you're just going to have to put some of the foam on the top to hold them down. So we've got some Yow Power Graphene batteries. And these are 3S. Def definitely going to struggle getting 3S in it. Unless you space this side. But then I don't think you're going to get that shot. But just to give you an idea, if you were trying to run 6S, I think that's just going to be a complete no in this. Because that amount of height and weight just on one side of the RC would be pretty insane. And they're 3S batteries. So unless you go for two really short 3S, which is doable if you're going to speed run it. I think if you were looking at 4S, bear in mind you've got to find a way to get these offset so you can get the cables. But even 4S is looking a bit iffy. And there's not there's not really any any space to 
put them any other way unless you're going to try and pull these battery mounts back mount one facing that way and one that way so it's a possibility for 4s but it is making it quite lopsided the weight but yeah definitely uh, definitely going to be an interesting little thing um if you go in for the 10th size motors they generally have far higher kv so you've got two ways you can go with this you could go for a heavy battery system a heavy motor and lower kv and higher voltage to try and get your speed and try and do it through torque or you can go for the smaller temp scale motors much higher kv you'd only need to run 2s maybe or 3s but possibly 2s if you get the right motor and you can go down that route but we've uh, this has been long enough for a first look so let's wrap this one up so there we have it nice little car from Rolaro. the alloy wheels are a nice touch and the spare wheel and tire um, you do get the fan included and the lights even with the roller and to be totally honest it looks as well built as any other sort of major brand RC that I've seen I can't see any issues with it offhand um, just a quick inspection of it everything seems to be there nothing's damaged it's turned up in one piece the stickers look like they're on fairly accurately and it looks like it's going to be a whole lot of fun to uh, play around with certainly for the pre-order price it's an absolute bargain i would say with the components and that that come with it um the aluminium the carbon the plastics look right nice bit of adjustability on the suspension and everything so yeah Laro, i think you've done a fair good fairly good job of this yet to see how it runs but time will tell thanks again for watching wtfrc cars if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, share to friends and family, and I'll catch you guys again in the next one.